In this session, we're going to take a look at the Payment History section of EDD. This section allows you to take a look at all of the sales that you've had so far. As you can see at the top here, you can filter by status. Completed, Pending, Refunded, Revoked, Failed, Abandoned, Pre-Approval Pending, and Cancelled. Right now, I'm showing all. And they're all mine. You can see how much, and what date, what user, and the status. Here you can edit or resend purchase receipt, or you can view order details. Let's take a look at that. Here at the top we have customer details, billing address, and here we have the purchased downloads. What's interesting about this area is that you can add to their purchased download for this order. I only have the one product, but I can put in how much I want to charge for this and add download to payment. It doesn't actually charge them, but it includes a product on their payment. You can use this to arbitrarily give something to a customer. And then there are some payment notes here. The EDD bot marks that status was changed from pending to complete, and that there was a Stripe charge ID. But you can make your own notes here and say anything you'd like about this transaction. Then in the sidebar here, we can see that there was no discount code, how much the price was, and we can recalculate totals if we need to. And then we can update the payment. It was done with Stripe. Here's the key and the IP address. We can change the status here to any of these things and adjust the date and time. And then, optionally, we could resend receipt. This would be particularly useful after adding to their download because the receipt would indicate that they had the new stuff. One more thing to note here. You can also filter these by date and you can search. This will be particularly useful once you have thousands of sales. One more cool thing you can do here, you can resend email receipts for multiple orders at a time. So if you had an issue with your mail server or something and the receipts didn't go out, you could select 10 or so and send them right out.